What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Taurus sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of April 20th and May 20th then you are a Taurus sun sign and this video is for you. The holidays are upon us friends or they're on their way whatever you celebrate it doesn't matter I don't care what you celebrate I love you all and I wanted to express my holiday joy with you all by doing a holiday reading for you and we're going to be channeling the ghost of Lewis Carroll here because we're going to be dealing with the ghost of holiday past the ghost of holiday present and the ghost of holiday future basically this spread is going to tell you what energies to leave behind what energies you're currently working on and what energies are coming down the road for you this holiday season. So it's going to be an eye-opening spread, I hope. Uh, I don't have a holiday deck, okay? So I chose the Thelema Tarot. It was the closest I could find. I, I, I don't know. It feels holiday-ish in a way. It's colorful, okay? So that's what we're going to be using today. So I would appreciate it if you give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards a question. What are the energies surrounding Taurus sun signs this holiday season? All right, that ought to do it. Right there. We will cut the deck. And this spread is three cards. Okie dokie. And uh, while we're at it, we're going to consult the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And we're going to ask it what message it has for Taurus Sun Signs this holiday season. What message for Taurus Sun Signs this holiday season? I'm going to look at this card at the end of the reading. So we'll just set it up there for now. And let's get into it, Taurus friends. We'll look at these cards one by one individually. The first card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents the ghost of holiday past. Basically, what to let go, what's no longer serving you at this time. And we've got us the Five of Wands. Okay, uh, the feeling I'm getting here is that what you need to leave behind, Taurus friends, is kind of... The word I'm getting is like friction, uh, grading against other people. And you know, we, we <clears throat> excuse me, we create friction with other people. We grade against other people in so many different ways. Uh, and this is a general reading, so you have to figure out how this means, what this means for you. But uh, the feeling I'm getting here is like you're trying to stand out, which is a good thing. Uh, but it's causing friction with other people. And I'm not saying that you should, you know, change who you are to get along with other people. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying is you can stand out without creating friction. And uh, there's a variety of ways to do this. Maybe stand out in a way that shows rather than tells. Okay. Maybe stand out in a way that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is a tough one. I, this is a weird message that I'm getting here from this card. But uh, yeah, the feeling maybe like if people are causing friction with you because you're different, then maybe these are people that are not necessarily meant to be in your life at this time, possibly. Um, but maybe this has a lot to do with you and maybe you're just the type of person that attracts, uh, you know, fighting. And I don't mean like physical fighting. I just mean, you know, friction attacks, attracts friction with others. And uh, even if you're different, you can still harmonize with other people. Um, and you got to find a way to do this is basically what uh, what this card is telling me at this time this holiday season is You're a diamond in the rough Taurus friend. You're different. You are unique You're your own person and you know people don't understand it, but it's your job to either make them understand or to um, Do it in a way that doesn't Make them see you as an outcast Huh Very very strange <laughs> very strange message from that one but that's the message we got, okay? Uh, so figure out what that means for you. I, I may not have explained it quite perfectly. Uh, you know, you get these messages from spirits, but it's like a feeling. And so putting it into words is hard to describe. 
sometimes, sometimes when the message is complex. So, but that is the message I'm getting. Let's move on to this card here. That's what to let go of. This card here represents the ghost of holiday present. And this is the current energies that uh, maybe some of you are working through right now. And we've got the Four of Cups. And I get the feeling from this card here that right now a lot of you are... Uh, apathetic is not the right word, but maybe you're feeling a little bit blasé, a little bit blah, you know. And uh, I think this comes from emotions and uh, maybe some of you are focused on the wrong emotions maybe some of you are focused on the wrong feelings you're allowing fe feelings to overtake you but you're not letting the right feelings overtake you uh, you know if you want to be overtaken by a feeling let it be love or joy or elation or happiness not sorrow or sadness or depression you know what I mean and we have all these emotions within us even if you're super depressed right now even if you're you know at the bottom of you know how you could possibly feel uh, there's still something to be grateful for. There's still something to be happy about. There's still some joy in your life. It's just you're choosing not to see it. And of course, we probably fall somewhere in the, you know, somewhere in the, in that spectrum. Most of us aren't at our rock bottom at the moment. But uh, Taurus friends, there's always something to be grateful for. There's always something to focus on that's going to bring you joy and happiness. And if you are always focusing on that which brings you negativity, then uh, you're going to feel blasé. You're going to feel uh, apathetic. You're going to feel saddish. So it's up to you how you want to feel. And the way to control that is by what you focus on. If you wake up and uh, the birds are chirping, the sun is shining, you're alive, you're breathing, you've got a roof over your head, you know, who cares that you owe money? <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't even matter. It's inconsequential. And, uh, you know, if you're in the right state of mind, you're going to find a way to pay that money. You know what I mean? You're going to find a way through your problems. But if you're just like, if you wake up, you're like, oh, I owe money. What am I going to do? I'm so stressed out. I'm not going to be able to do it. You're not going to find a way through this problem because you're not in the right state of mind. You're focused on negativity. You're only going to bring more negativity. You're not going to bring solutions. You're going to bring more problems. So that's something uh, to think about this holiday season is let's focus more on positivity, Taurus friends, so that we can uh, work through our issues uh, from a place of positivity, which will bring more positivity. All right, uh, this card, of course, represents the ghost of holiday future. And these are the energies that are coming down the line in the next few weeks, maybe the next month. And we've got the Two of Cups. This card is about connection with others, and I get the feeling that uh, a connection with another person is going to either be built or be s built upon, or strengthened. And uh, so this could mean that you might meet someone in the next few weeks or the next few months, Taurus friends, that you really vibe with, that you really connect with. And this could be romantic. It could be a friendship. Um, or, you know, it could be a relationship that you already have that, you know, maybe you, you've hit a new level, a new plateau, a new understanding of each other that's going to help grow your relationship. So definite positivity here. And I think it's going to stem from you realizing that you're focusing on, on negative things and then making the conscious shift towards positivity and that's going to attract other people. You know, you're not going to attract... If you're dwelling in negativity, if you're dwelling in apathy and, you know, just feeling blah, you're going to attract other people who feel blah, right? Or maybe not because they're going to be in their house sulking. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you're moved to a state of positivity and happiness, then you're going to attract people. People, people will be attracted to you because they want some of what you got. And uh, they're going to uplift you. You're going to uplift them. And it's a symbiotic relationship. And everyone is happy. And uh, that's what I see coming down the line, Taurus friend. So n never fear. Uh, yes, there's some friction possibly that uh, needs to be released. Yes, there's a focus on some negativity that needs to be transmuted and changed to positivity. But when you do that, I think you're going to attract more positivity. You're going to attract more people into your life who want to be a part of your life, who want to connect with you because you are someone who has value to them and uh, they have value to you and you work together to create more value for everyone around you and it's a beautiful thing so I'll definitely see a progression here Taurus friends never fear if things are looking kind of bleak for you at the moment uh, you know keep keep chucking keep moving forward because this holiday season is going to bring some transformation it's going to bring some change and you know maybe this holiday season is going to be the thing that gets you out of this negative way of thinking um, and I hate to like, you know, say with blanket statements, all Taurus, Taurus, I, Taurus, all Tauruses, 
are dwelling in negativity right now. Remember, this is a general reading, and so take what works for you, leave the rest, and it doesn't apply to everyone, but uh, I think we all have some of that aspect within us, some of that focus on negativity, and uh, this is something you can focus on this holiday season, is moving towards a state of positivity so that other people will be attracted to you and, and want to hang out with you and spend time with you and, and create a connection with you that could last for who knows how long, the rest of your life, possibly. So uh, there's only good that can come of shifting the positivity towards friends, and that is your goal this holiday season. All right, cool. Uh, before we go, we asked the Psychic Tarot of the Heart what message it had for Taurus sun signs this holiday season, and we've got heart chakra. That is the way out, friends. It's connecting with the heart, connecting with the heart, getting out of our ego minds. Our ego minds are going to bring us to negativity, okay? Get more into the heart space where you start feeling things. And when you start feeling things, you're going to realize that I don't want to feel bad anymore, okay? I want to feel good at all times. And, you know, a connection with the heart space is what's going to be the catalyst for that change. So uh, however you want to do it, spend time doing things that you love to do. Uh, you know, don't be afraid of your emotions. Um, f connect with your higher self through meditation or through... Um, you know, nature, or however you like to do it. However you connect with your soul, do that. Get into that heart space. See that green chakra just lighting up. Use crystals, they're going to help bring that out. Rose quartz is the first thing that comes to mind. And I think that uh, you're going to find that things are just going to be smoother for you. Or they're going to be more effortless. And you're going to move to a state of two of cups energy where you're open to new people and to new connections with others. And it's going to be great. All right, Taurus friends, that is the reading for this holiday. I hope you got something out of that. Remember, this is a general reading and not everything applies to everyone. But if you want a specific reading where I tap into your energies, head on over to my Etsy shop in the link in the description box below. And uh, if you click on that, you get sent on over there. You can check out different um, spreads that we can use to bring healing and clarity into your life. So I'd appreciate it if you go check that out. If you like this video, hit that like button. I, re I really appreciate it. It lets me know that you enjoyed it and it uh, helps the video out. So... Thank you for that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings. And if you really enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos. You don't want to miss out. Trust me. Okay. All right, Taurus friends. Well, let's get into that heart space. Let's get connected with our emotions. And as a result, you're going to get more connected with people around you. And uh, everyone's going to be happy. So uh, some work to do this holiday season, but it's it's work that you can do. It's work that's going to benefit you. So get, at, get after it, Taurus friends. All right. I want to wish you a happy holiday holidays no matter what you celebrate lots of love and light and uh yes happy holidays taurus friends uh, so leave a like if you enjoyed this happy tarrowing peace